Flickering light now. Okay. Is it on there? Right, so I'm just going to wait for some people to come in. Got one. Hey guys, it's JK War Games. So we're going to do a bit of target for tonight live. I haven't really done live uh, streams before, so we'll see how this goes. But um, yeah, so we'll just wait for a few more people to um, tune in and then uh, we'll crack on with the game. Okay guys, so I'm going to start playing here. If you're watching, can you just uh, let me know that the volume's okay, you can hear me okay. Just make sure it's up on here. Okay, our mission is to Lebec, and we have eight zones to go through. So we're currently in zone one. So we're gonna roll to see uh, the phase of the moon. So I'm gonna roll 1d10. I rolled a four. So four to seven is a half moon. So we're gonna place half moon counter on the board. Okay, next we need to roll for our Gunners, uh, a wireless gunner to see if he's got um, enhanced night vision. No, he hasn't on a six. And the bomb aimer, he hasn't either. Okay, so now we're going to go into weather over the base. We've rolled a four. So four to ten is good weather, so that's fine. We're now going to go into our stream takeoff position. We've rolled a three. So your bomber is in the middle one third of the main force bomber stream to take off, so not too bad. Okay, so everything's ready. We're now gonna take off. So I'm gonna roll 1d10 again. We've rolled a six. Three to 10, take off okay. So there's no problems. So we don't need to roll on that table. So now we're gonna move up into zone two. Um, once we've taken off, we're at a low altitude. But moving into zone two, I'm gonna go straight to a high altitude because we wanna be high. Okay, so um, weather in the zone then is the first thing we're gonna do. I rolled a two. So a two is clear conditions and I'm gonna mark that on my worksheet in zone two. So we're at high altitude and we are in clear conditions. So we don't need to roll for a mission being recalled, but we do need to roll for mechanical failures. And on a 20, we're fine. The blue is the tens. So no mechanical failures. I'm gonna roll for contrails. So a four, I think we're okay. Yeah, a four to 10, we're fine. So there's no contrails. And then we're gonna see if they detect us. So we're gonna roll 2d6. We rolled a three. Have we got any modifiers? Nope, so they failed to detect us and we're over water at the moment. 
Um, so there's no night fighters, no AAA fire. So we're going to roll now to see if we're on course. So I roll one die. We've got an eight. So on an eight, I'll just flip through. On an eight, we are on course. We've got a few modifiers, but none of those are going to make us go underneath one or under. So we're on course. So I'm going to roll that. We're on course. Do any of our bombers have a collision? No. So that is zone two done. So we're going to move up into zone three. So first thing we're going to roll for is uh, the weather. And we roll a two. So again, I think it's clear conditions. So let's have a look. Uh, yeah, clear conditions. So I'm going to mark that in zone three. High altitude, clear conditions. So we're not rolling for the mission being recalled, but we're going to roll for mechanical failures. 39, we don't have a mechanical failure. We're going to roll to see if we've got any contrails. Three, we have. So we've got contrails now. And we're going to roll to see if they detect our bomber. We've rolled six, seven, eight. So there is... Yet they've detected us because none of the modifiers uh, apply. So they've detected us. But again, we're over water at the moment. So we don't roll for AAA fire. And we don't roll for searchlights. We go straight to the night fighter combat. So we're going to roll for a night fighter now. I've rolled a three. So a three to seven is one night fighter. And modifiers don't apply at the moment. So one night fighter. So we're going to roll to see what night fighter it is. Roll a five, it's a Dornier 217 J1. So a Dornier 217 J1, which is there. So I'm gonna see if he's got Leuchstein radar. And on a three, he does not. And then his pilot quality is a seven, seven to nine, he's a Flieger. So let's find the Flieger token now. Here's the big part. Does he spot our Lancaster bomber? He's rolled five, six, seven, eight, nine. So on a half moon, he needs an eight. And we have clear conditions. We do have contrail, so that's a plus one. So, and he's got Leuchstein radar, so, oh no he hasn't, but he's spotted us definitely, yep. So we are spotted by that night fighter, I'm just going to mark that on my sheet. So, we have one Dornier 217, and he is a Flieger, so he spotted us. Can we spot him? So we've rolled five, six, seven, eight. So let's see, so half moon on an eight. Yeah, so modifiers don't apply, we have spotted him. So what we're gonna do then is um, roll for his position. We've rolled six, seven, eight, uh, nine, sorry. So nine is nine o'clock position. Nine o'clock high. So he's there on the left, nine o'clock high. So we need to work out what um, of our gunners can shoot at him now because we have spotted him. So I can see that my ventral uh, turret can only shoot at nine o'clock low, but my mid upper gunner can shoot at nine o'clock level and high. So our mid upper gunner. He's going to fire on him. And if we've got anyone else that can shoot there, no. So he's the only one that can shoot. I don't know why these guys have still got oxygen. That's from another game. Right, so mid upper gunner is going to fire, rolling 2d6. We've rolled a 7. 
and we need an 8 to hit him, but we've got modifiers. And I know here, plus 1 for defensive fire against a 3 or 9 o'clock fighter attack position. So that's a plus 1, so we've now got 6, 7, 8. And none of the minus uh, modifiers apply. So we have hit the fighter. So we're going to roll 1d10 to see what the damage is. We rolled an 8. It's quite high. And he's a Dornier 217 on an 8. It's an FBOA. So an FBOA means he's got a minus 2 when he fires at us. So that's a good result. So we'll remove that. And now the fighter is going to attack us. And I drop the dice, and it was a four. So he's scored four, five, six. And attacking from three o'clock position, he needs an eight. Um, he doesn't have any modifiers because he's a flieger. But he has a minus two off of that, so he's got a four. So he's definitely missed, which is good for us. Um, so do we get to make a tailing passing shot? Because if you are, just bear with me guys, if you are at 10.30, 12 or 1.30, no we can't. So we're going to see if we lose contact with this guy now. Roll 1d10, an 8 is not good. So, an 8, but we have modifiers. So none of those apply. We've got clear conditions. Yes, so we get a plus one and nine. So if your bomber pilot has flown more than ten missions, no he hasn't. So he sticks around. So we're gonna roll another position for him. So six, seven, eight, nine. So that's gonna be nine o'clock position. Go back nine o'clock. So nine o'clock level. So nine o'clock level. So he moves to there. Do we um, spot him this time again? Oh, we've rolled a nine. So we're pretty sure we spotted him. We need an eight. Just check the modifiers. Plus one for clear conditions. Yep, so we spotted him. So this time, nine o'clock level. So nine o'clock level, my min upper gunner is gonna fire again. And also, I should have marked off the um, ammo used. I'll do that in a minute. So mid upper gunner can fire. Our ventral gunner can only do nine o'clock low, so that's no good. So, our mid upper gunner taking a shot rolls five, six, seven, eight. So, it looks like we've got another hit. This is going well. Um, none of these apply, but we get a plus one for the attacking from a three o'clock position. So, going to roll for damage. I've rolled a nine. So, a nine for a Dornier 217 is an FCAB. So, FCAB, fighter continues this attack, then breaks off after the attack is complete. Okay, so he is going to attack us, but he will break off. So we don't have to roll to lose contact, which is good. So, mid upper gun is done. So the um, fighter's attacking, but remember he's got minus two because of the damage. He rolls a five, take away the two. He's definitely missed. I know he hasn't got any more modifiers. Um, so he missed and he's gonna fly off. So that's a good result. So I'll just quickly mark off the ammo on this really cool sheet that um, someone on Board Game Geek has printed out. Um, a made, sorry, and I printed them out. And you can mark off your ammo. Every damage point is on here for our Lancaster. These are brilliant. So, 
that was the mid upper gunner. He's fired twice now, so we mark that off. Okay, so moving on then, we are checking if we're on course. So we roll a five. I'm gonna check the modifiers. This game is all about modifiers, but once you've played it a few times, you get used to what the modifiers are and you can go to them quite quickly. So we've rolled a five. The moon phase is half moon, so that doesn't apply. We've got clear condition, so that's a plus one. That goes to a six. I'm on the wrong table. Classic. Right, so go back down to a five. Yeah, that's all fine. Yeah, so we're on course. That's good. Okay, so we're on course. Now, was there a collision between the fighter and the bomber? Nope, there wasn't. Check those modifiers. No, so there's no collision. Okay, so that's zone three done. So we're going to push up into zone four. So now we're going to go back to rolling for weather in the zone. So I've rolled a five. So a five is ground fog or haze. Okay. So we're staying at high altitude. I don't want to change that. I want to stay at high unless I'm forced down. So we've got haze. So no mission recall. You only roll for that if it's 100% cloud cover. But we need to check for mechanical failures. So roll a 74. So there's no mechanical failures. We're going to roll four contrails. Roll a four. No contrails. Going to roll to see if we're spotted. Six, seven, eight, nine. Oh, there's a good chance we've been spotted this time. Again, so six. We're not we were in the middle, so no modifiers. So they definitely spotted us again. We're flying over water at the moment, so there's no um, half. Uh, sorry, there's no AAA fire or searchlights. So we're going straight to roll for night fighter. So, I've rolled a seven, and that is one fighter. So let's see what one it is. I've rolled a nine, which is a Junkers 88. C6, yeah. So he goes there. Does he have Leuchstein radar? A five he does, so that's going to give him a big benefit. So let's roll for the quality uh, pilot quality, sorry, a nine. So seven to nine is a Flieger. So it's a Flieger again. So, now does he spot our bomber? Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I think he does. Let's just check the modifiers. We're on a half moon. So, yep. Yeah. He spotted us, so we're going to roll for his position. Four, five, six. His position is a six, so it's going to be six o'clock. Three, six o'clock level. Okay. Now, do we spot the bomber? Come on. No. We roll a three. We'll check the modifiers, but I'm pretty sure that's a no. Yeah, no, we can't. So we can't fire upon um, the Junkers, so he's going to go straight in with his attack. And he rolls a four. So it looks like he's missed. Let's just check. I'm going to be just saying check modifiers a lot in this, but you'll get used to it. So he's rolled a four, and he is at six o'clock. He needs a seven to hit. So if he was an experiter, he would get plus two, but no, so he's missed. So we're going to see if we lose contact with this this guy. We rolled a seven. So let's check. We need a five or less. So no. Nope. If the moon phase uh, was present, we could we get a minus one. 
No, so he is sticking around, so we're going to roll for another position. Six, seven, eight, nine. So uh, it's going to be a nine o'clock low, I think. Just double check. So nine o'clock uh, high. Nine o'clock high. So he flies over here, nine o'clock high. This time, can the gunners spot him in the dead of night? No, they can't. Snake eyes. Not even with modifiers. That's not good. So the Yunkers 88 is going to fire at us now. He rolls 5, 6, 7, 8. Let's see if he's got any modifiers. So at a 9 o'clock position, he needs an 8. And he's rolled an 8. And he has no modifiers, so he's lucky. He's got a hit on us. So our bomb has been hit. We're going to roll for damage now. So roll 2d6, 5, 6, 7. And I'll check the chart. So a 7 at 9 o'clock is one hit. But we need to see if that's multiplied. I've rolled a 3. So cross-reference 3 for the Junkers, 88. No. So it's just um, one hit. So this is where we get our nice little... Lancaster pilot book and we are being attacked from the nine o'clock position so we're going to roll on this chart so 2d6 I've rolled a six and he is attacking from high so it's the port wing so we're going to go through to the port wing so 2d6 roll I've rolled a six dinghy if plane lands in water roll on table seven two it's a minus two, so I'll just mark that on my sheet that we have lost our dinghy or it's been damaged, so we can't use it if we land on water. So not too bad. Right, now we roll to see if we lose contact with him again. A seven. Oh, God, it looks like we're not going to lose contact. This is one thing you'll find. It's really hard to get rid of fighters, and you can be in a zone for ages while they're attacking you which is um, quite frustrating at times. So, um, right, we need a five to lose him, and we rolled a seven. So, we're lucky he's not a veteran or anything like that at the moment. He's got a Leuchstein radar, so that goes up to an eight. And none of the minuses um, apply to us, so... He is sticking around, so we roll for another position. Five, six, and eight. I know that's going to be from six o'clock, and I roll a five. So six o'clock low, I think. Let's double check. So six o'clock low. So six o'clock low. So he's on our tail now. So can my tail going to spot him. Three, four, five. Doesn't look like it. We'll check the modifiers. Hit me right in the dinghy. Yeah. How you doing? Hedge Hobbit. How's it going? So, right. Three, four, five. We roll a five and we get a plus one because they're attacking from the six o'clock position. So that puts us on a six but that is it so we do not spot him so he's going to attack our bomber now he's rolled a seven I'm pretty sure that's a hit from six o'clock so six o'clock yeah he needs a seven and there's no modifiers so he's got a hit on us so we take another hit so we'll get out our handy dandy Lancaster book and roll on a six o'clock chart. We roll a six. And he is from low this time. So it's the tail. So we'll find the tail. Roll 2d6. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. A ten tail plane. So we're going to roll 1d6. A four. Four starboard elevator. Inoperable. C. 
If both elevators are inoperable, landing on roll tables 71 and 72 are minus one. Okay, so I'm gonna mark that, so we might have some trouble when we land. So let's just mark that on our plane. So it was the starboard elevator. So if I can find it, bear with me guys. Where's it gone? There it is. Okay. Cool, so it was uh, only one hit he got on us, so now we're going to see if we lose him, so 1d10 again, oh, man this is ridiculous, right we've rolled an 8 now, so he's definitely sticking around, yeah because None of the minus modifiers apply. So we're going to roll for another position. So this is this is holding us up, you know. So four, five. So he's rolled five. Position five is where? Position five is 12 o'clock. 12 o'clock low. So he's going over the top of us to 12 o'clock low. So, I'm going to see if my bomber crew spot him now. Four, five, six, seven with modifiers. So, we get a plus one. We missed this out earlier. We get a plus one for a Junkers 88 C6 early, which he is. So, we get a plus one for that. So, we're on an eight now. And none of these minus ones affect us at the moment. So we have spotted him, so that's good. Right, so he is 12 o'clock low. So who can shoot at him at 12 o'clock low? Well, our nose gunner can. So let's mark him with a nose gunner. And our mid upper gunner can do 12 o'clock level and high, so he can't. Our ventral gunner can do 12 o'clock low. So I'm gonna move my wireless gunner to man the ventral turret and he's shooting at 12 o'clock low. Yeah. So let's get a ventral on there. There it is. Okay, so this is good. We're gonna get two shots at this guy. So, first shot we'll do with the nose gunner. He's rolled five, six, seven. So he's rolled seven. We get that plus one, because he, he's a Junkers 88 early type, remember? So he gets plus one. So he's got five, six, seven, eight. No minus modifiers apply at the moment. So he has hit him. So we'll roll damage to see what happens. An eight. So an eight for a Junkers 88 is an FBOA. So FBOA, if I can find it, FBOA. So he's gonna have a minus two when he fires at us. So that's the nose gunner. And now the ventral turret's gonna have a, a crack. Let's get the right dice first. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, plus the plus one for a Junkers 88, puts us on 11. Minus modifiers don't apply at the moment. So that's another hit. So we're gonna roll 1d10. We rolled a two. So two is an FCA. So an FCA result is a minus one. Let me just check. Yeah, right. Fighter may not attacking. Uh, the fighter may not attack. If the fighter already has one or more FCA results, the fighter destroyed at the point of attack. Treat any additional FBO results received in that same round as superficial damage. Okay. So he's basically got a minus three when he attacks. So that's our ventral gunner. I'm gonna mark ammo we've used in a minute. So here comes a shot from the Junkers. So he rolls five, six, seven, eight, but we've got a minus three off that. So he's got a five and his modifiers, or his modifiers. Uh, so where is he? It's 12 o'clock, isn't he? 
Do needs a nine. Yeah, so he is, uh, he's missed completely. So that's good. We managed to um, spot him and get shots on him. So, um, do we lose, con oh, actually, I think our tail gonna get to shot now for a passing shot because he is at 12 o'clock. Let me just double check. So somewhere 10, 30, 12, yeah. So our tail gunner is the only guy after a German fighter is attacked, he gets a passing shot if you're at um, a certain uh, position. So our tail gunner taking a passing shot, he rolls three, four, five, Plus one for the Junkers 88 would be a six. That's a miss. So we're going to um, roll to see if we lose this guy. We rolled a two. This is good. I think we're going to lose him now. So let's check. So we have... We need five or less. None of those apply. He had radar, which puts us to three. So, yep, yeah, we've lost contact with him. So that's good. We didn't manage to shoot him down, but he's lost contact with us. Okay, so now we can see if we're um, on course or not. We rolled a one. So, at the moment, we're off course. We'll go through our modifiers. No. No. No, so we're off course, so I'm going to mark that on my little um, worksheet here. So we're off course. Was there any collision? Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Plus one if the pilot is a flieger, which he was. That puts us on an eleven. <laughs> Uh, minus one for the attacking fighter did not score. Minus one for the attacking fighter from the six o'clock. He did attack us from the six o'clock, so that goes down to a ten. So we're fine. That was close though. So there is no collisions. Okay. So now finally we can push up into zone five, like that. So we're going to roll for weather. We rolled a nine. So nine. Is a hundred percent cloud cover, so we are staying at a high altitude. We've got a hundred percent cloud cover, so we have to roll to see if the mission's recalled now because of the cloud cover. And we've rolled a twenty, so it's fine. It's not recalled. Let's roll for mechanical failures. An eighteen? No. It's very rare that happens, but it does happen. Contrails. Oh, wrong dice. A one. So they do form. Contrails. So now we're going to see. We're still over water. Do they spot our bomber? Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That's going to be a yes, but let's just check modifiers. Yeah, so they detect us. Now, again, because it's over water, we don't um, roll for triple A gunfire or searchlights until we go over land. So we just go straight to night fighters. So how many? That's cock die. I'll re roll it. A one. So two or less is a random event. So we need to roll on the random event chart. And that bypasses all combat for this turn. So a random event is 2d6. I brought a five. In the next zone, an RAF mosquito night intruder finds your bomber and drives off one of one attacking night fighter. The number of night fighters rolled for on table five five is reduced by one. Okay, need to remember that. So fighter, I'll write that there. Fighter minus one. So that's a nice little uh, bonus. Okay, so. That skips all the combat for that turn. So then we roll to see if we're on course again. So I rolled a 10. So that definitely means we're going to be 
on course, even with the modifiers. Yep, so we're going to be on course this time. So, on course, do we have any collisions in that zone between our bombers? Roll the top of D6. Nope, even with the modifiers. See, this thing, once you get the modifiers down, you can remember them quite easily. Not all of them, but... So, no. So now, we can push into zone 6. And our target zone is at 8. So we're trying to get to target zone 8 to drop our bombs. So, I'm just going to flip my worksheet there. So do that. So, zone six, let's roll for the weather. We've rolled a six. Sorry, six is 50% cloud cover. So we're staying high and 50% cloud cover. So we don't need to roll for a mission recall, but we need to roll for mechanical failures. 34, there's no mechanical failures, and we're going to roll for contrails, 5, so there's no contrails, and you only roll for that if you're high, but we are high, so do they detect our bomber, 3, 4, 5, I think we've got away with it, 5, nope, because we're in the middle, um, one third, so they don't, nope, so they haven't detected us. So we can bypass combat for this turn and go straight to rolling to see if we're on course. So we've rolled a two, which looks like we might be off course here. So, roll a two, modifiers. Not many, no. We haven't really taken that much damage, so none of these really apply at the moment. So two or more, we're on course, that's lucky, just. So we're on course. Do we have any collisions between bombers? Nope. So now, we're moving into zone seven, which is in Germany. So now we potentially can be attacked by flak and searchlights. Right, we'll roll for the weather in the zone. We roll with two, which is going to be clear conditions. So, clear conditions, yep. So I'll mark that off. Staying high again. Uh, clear conditions, so we don't need to roll for a mission recall, but we'll roll for mechanical failures. A 14, that's fine. So, oh no. Let's roll for contrails, a six, we're fine, so no contrails, so here's the big one, do they spot us, five, six, <laughs> that would happen, so yep, yep, we don't have anything to jam it because we're early war at the moment, so a six, we're detected, so we're going to roll for AAA gunfire now, I've rolled three, four, five. So a five on a half moon. We need an eight. They need an eight, sorry. Let's, ground fog or haze is a minus two. Oh no, we're clear conditions. I'm getting confused then. So, no, clear conditions is a plus one. So that puts that to a six. We're in the middle, so no, so they've got six. So we don't receive um, searchlight or AAA fire. But we got detected, so we have to do night fighter. So that's kind of lucky there. So uh, we're roll four night fighters. Three, now remember, we get a minus one on this table. Um, so let me just double check. Yeah, roll of five. The number of night fighters rolled on table five by is reduced by one. So if we rolled one, it's reduced by one, so there's no fighters, it's a zero. So that's the bonus of getting that random event. So we're getting a, a cake run here. So are we on course? A nine says we are. 
Let's just check those modifiers. People, you're going to be sick of me saying modifiers, but that is what this game is all about. So, no, so we're on course, so that's good. So, we're on course. Was there any collisions between our bombers? Four, no. So, now we're going to push into our target zone, which is Lebec. So, we are over the target zone now. So, this is where it gets interesting. We're going to roll for weather in the zone. We roll a two, so that's clear conditions. So, clear conditions. We're staying high. So, we're going to roll for mechanical failure. No, that's fine. Roll for contrails. Four, we are just about fine. Now, you don't roll to see if they spot us. We are automatically spotted in this zone. So we gain a searchlight and we go straight to um, AAA fire. You don't roll to see if you're spotted for it. The, the Germans know we're there. We're about to drop our bombs. They can hear us. So they can see us in the searchlight now. So we'll go and conduct triple A fire, which can get quite nasty. So triple A fire, we roll 1d6, I roll a 6. 5 to 6 is medium, but we've got modifiers. It's clear conditions, which puts it to a 7. This is not good. So a seven is heavy AAA fire. Now, we have to roll three times for AAA fire because we're at a high level. So first AAA fire coming in. We roll six, seven, eight, nine, ten. A ten on heavy is a hit. So I'm gonna roll to see where, or how many hits, sorry. Six, seven, eight, nine. A nine is one hit. And then we're going to see where we get hit. Three, four, five. Five is the front center section. So we're going to go in here now. So front center section. Where are you? There it is. So we'll roll 2d6. Six. Oxygen system. First hit, no effect. So there's no effect. If we take another oxygen hit, then we're in trouble, so I'm just going to mark that down. So, oxygen, then first hit. Okay, so we've got to roll two more times for AAA fire. So this is the second roll. Five, six, seven. Seven on heavy fire is a miss. So third and final roll. Oh! Look at that, on camera as well. Double sixes, box cars, 12 is a hit, surprise, surprise. So let's see how many hits. Six, um, six to nine is one hit, so let's see where it hits. Four, five, six, left wing. Okay, left wing has been hit, so let's um, go to wings. See what happens. Five. Okay. Aileron. One d six. One to three. It's inoperable. Ah, oh, aileron. If I'm saying that right, probably not. Where is my pen? Aileron is inoperable. So that is in the wings. So let me just mark this down, guys. So there it is, and it was the left wing. Okay, so. B, so we'll just look at note B. If both port and starboard wing flaps landing roll on table is minus two, yeah, so lost both of them. Okay, so we're, we're slowly taking that a bit of damage here. So that's AAA fire. So now we're going to roll for night fighters. 
So, how many do we get? We've rolled an eight. So we get two. And it's a plus one because we are um, caught by the searchlight. So it's two fighters. So I'm going to roll to see what they are. So the first one, a six is a Dornia 217. So Dornia 217 um, N2. Where's that gone? Dornier 217M2, it's right in front of me. So that goes there. And the second night fighter is a nine. Junkers 88, C6. Okay, we're gonna see if they have Leuchstein radar. So this guy does not, and this guy does. So he is gonna get the radar. So where's my token? It's there. So he gets Leuchstein radar. So Pilot quality then, this guy. A one. He's an experiment there. So that's about to get nasty. And the guy with the radar, a nine. He's a flieger. So he goes there. Okay. So uh, we're going to roll to see if they spot our bomber. So the Dornier 217. He's rolled five, six, seven, eight, nine. He's spotted us. Definitely. Let's supply our modifiers though. What's the weather in the zone? Uh, weather is clear. So clear conditions is a plus one, so he's now on a ten. Uh, so he's definitely spotted us. So the Junk is 88. He rolls five, six, seven, but he gets plus three because of his um Radar and another plus one because of clear conditions. So they've both spotted us. So the Dornier, his position, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Sorry, ten is three o'clock high. So three o'clock high. He's going there. And then the Junkers rolls three, four, five. Five is twelve o'clock low so 12 o'clock low okay so can our bomber crew spot these guys so the Junkers we've rolled four and with modifiers are not too hopeful he's a Junkers so we get plus one for that three four five nope so we don't spot him do we spot the Dornier? Five, six, seven, eight, nine. So, any of these minuses? Nope. So we spotted him. So who can fire at three o'clock high? Let's have a look. So three o'clock high is our mid-upper uh, turret, gunner. So mid-upper, he's gonna fire. So there's a token. Uh, wrong guy, sorry, he's firing here. And then three o'clock high. Anyone else fire at three o'clock high? Nope, the ventral turret can only do three o'clock low. And obviously our tail and nose can't. So we've only got that one guy. So mid upper gun is gonna take a shot now. And he rolls a five, six, seven. At the moment that's a miss, but he's from a three o'clock position, which gives us a plus one. So he's now on an eight, which is a hit. And we're not doing a corkscrew maneuver, so um, yep, yeah, he's been hit. So we're gonna roll for damage. I'm gonna try and destroy this guy. I've rolled a five. So a five on a Dornier 217N. Five is an FCA result. So he has a minus one when he fires at us. So, okay, that's that. He's now gonna fire back. So, but he's got a minus one on this roll. And he rolls five, minus one is four, but he is an experiter, so he gets plus two. So that puts him to six. And from the three o'clock position, he needs an eight. So he's missed. So now the Flieger, 
um, with the radar. So it's possible he's going to get a hit here. So he's going to roll. And he rolls seven. So with modifiers, uh, where is he? Sorry, he's 12 o'clock, so he needs a nine. He's rolled a seven. He is a flieger, so he doesn't get anything. And he doesn't get a plus for the radar, that would make sense. So they both missed. So that's lucky. Now, does our tail gunner get to shoot at anyone? Hit as a passing shot. Let's just double check again. 10, 30, 12, and 1, So he gets to shoot at 12 o'clock. So how this works is, should have done this last time, the, you place the plane at 6 o'clock. So when he came over, we get a passing shot. But you have to do it after the, the German takes his fire. So we're going to fire at him. 3, 4, 5. Plus 1 for a 6 o'clock position. Gives us a 6. Um, I don't think that's going to give us anything else. Is that going to give us anything else? Where are we? What is he? The Junkers 88. That gives us another plus one. So we're now on uh, four, five, six, seven. Seven. No. Seven is a miss. So unfortunately we missed him. So we're going to see if we lose contact now. So this Junkers, we rolled a four. So we need a five or less to lose contact with him. But he has low steam radar, which puts that up by one. So that puts that to a five. Okay. And that is about it. Clear conditions, plus one. So that puts it to a six. So it's important you read their modifiers. So a six, he sticks around. Right, what about this guy? A ten, he's definitely going to be sticking around. And he gets plus two for me in the experiment test. So we're going to roll for new positions. So this guy, he's rolled a five. So position for five. Uh, find it. So five is a twelve o'clock position. Twelve o'clock high. So he flies over the top of this twelve o'clock high. And now the Dornier two one seven. He rolls an eight. So that is a six o'clock position. Six o'clock high. Okay. So do we spot these guys now? So the Junkers. We roll three, four, five. And I'm pretty sure. On a half moon, we need an eight. And we're illuminate, illuminated sorry, by searchlight, so that's minus two. So we definitely don't spot him. And the same here. We rolled five, six, seven. Minus two because of the searchlights. Minus one for him being the experiter. Puts us down to a four. So we, we definitely don't spot them. So we'll go with the Junkers first, firing from 12 o'clock. Oh my God, that's the second uh, box car, double sixes. So he's hit us. Let's just check his modifiers. Oh no, it's, yeah, any roll of, um, an unmodif any regardless of modifiers, a 12 is always a hit, so it's a guaranteed hit. So we'll roll for um, damage. Four plus six. So six at 12 o'clock is one hit. Is it modified? Uh, we have to roll again because of A. No. So it's one hit. So one hit from 12 o'clock. Uh, so rolling from 12 o'clock, we roll a three. Two to four, superficial damage, high. So it has no effect. That was lucky. Okay, so now the Dornier 217 firing. 
he rolls a four, but he gets plus two um, because of being an experiteur, but he's got minus one because of that, so he misses. So, um, my tail gunner is going to get to shoot at the 12 o'clock position as a passing shot. Five, six, seven with modifiers. So, let's have a look. So, here's a Junkers ATA, which gives us a plus one. So that puts that to five, six, seven, eight is what we need. So, yeah, so we've hit him. So we're gonna roll for damage. Seven. So a seven for a Junkers 88. Junkers 88, seven is an FCAB. So an FCAB. And that means FCAB. Fighter continues this attack, then breaks off after this attack is complete. And there's no modifier. Um, okay. But He's already made his attacks, so we're going to roll to see if we lose them. So this guy here, a three, looks like we could lose him here. We have clear conditions, which is a plus one, so that goes to a four. Um, did he have the radar? Yeah, so he gets another plus one, a five. So luckily, he doesn't get any other modifiers, so he we've lost contact with him. And now, trying to lose contact with the Donia, we roll a three, but he's an Experiteur, so we get a plus two, so that goes to a five. Uh, okay. It's clear conditions, so that goes to a six. So we're on a six. So he sticks around, so we're going to roll a position for him now. Double six again! That's the third one. So, uh, rolling for his position. I got all excited about rolling double sixes. So, <laughs> we've rolled 12. He's vertical dive. So he's attacking from vertical dive. Now that means that we don't need to roll to lose contact with him. He makes this attack and then he'll be gone. So that's good. Then we can drop our bombs. Okay, so do we spot him? So I've just rolled double six again. That's the fourth double six. Are you guys seeing this? That's the fourth double six. Um, I've totally forgot what I'm doing. That was to um, spot him, wasn't it? Yeah, so so we've definitely spotted him. Let's just check our modifiers, though. We get a plus one for... Oh, no, sorry, that's the wrong table. <laughs> wrong table, we'll go to the other one. Minus two for the lights. Got to remember that. So that goes down. So six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Minus one for him being the experiteur. So they soon come down, six, seven, eight, nine. And I get a plus one for clear conditions. So go back up. So we definitely spotted him. So who can shoot at him in a vertical dive? Mid upper gunner can. So he's gonna fire. So we'll put his token there. Anyone else fire a um, vertical dive? No. So mid upper gunner. Who is, who's, I've named the pilots here, mid upper gunner, where is he? Buzz. Buzz is firing upon the Dornier 217. And he rolls a 7, but we've got some modifiers. Two, 7. And he gets. Vertical climb. No, doesn't look like we've got any modifiers. No, so we've missed. That's unfortunate, we've missed. So the Dorney is going to fire at us now. Four, five, six. 
so six. Uh, he's in a vertical dive, so vertical dive, he needs a nine. He's rolled a six and he gets plus two. That puts him on eight. But he's got a minus one for FCA, so he's missed. And he flies off because he was in a vertical dive. Finally, right, now we can drop our bombs. So let's have a look at target visibility. So we're in the zone now and we've got target visibility. Um, just say in the chat guys if you can hear me okay and you, the picture's clear on that because I'm never sure. So 1d6, I'll roll a 6 for visibility. Target completely obscured. Great. See design note, uh, apply a minus two die roll modifier on table six six. So we roll two d6, we roll a four, but that goes down to a two. So two or less is off target, and there's lots of modifiers here. Minus five if the mission date is before September 1942, which it is. So we are, yeah. Clear conditions, we get a plus one, but it's not enough to bring us back over three, so we're off target. So this means that on the table here, we're going to be rolling on the right-hand side, off target. So here we go, a six. So a six is zero percent. We've gone all this way for zero percent on um, dropping our targets. So just log that here. So, were we on target? No. And we got 0%. That's the first time I've had 0%. Okay. Now we want to get the hell out of here. So, we turn the counter and we have to spend another turn in this zone. Now, if I was playing optional rules, I could roll for turbulence now, but I'm not going to do that. So, I've got to check for weather in the zone again. An eight means that we are, let's have a look. So an eight is 50% cloud cover. So let's mark that quick. 50, okay. And then, so any, we don't need to roll for mission recall, mechanical failures. We roll an eight, that's lucky because it's one to four, so we're fine. We're now rolling for contrails, a nine, so we're fine. And we don't roll for AAA fire again because they already have us spotted. We're in the searchlight, so we're going to go straight into AAA fire. So 1d6, we roll a four, which is light AAA fire. We have a minus one because of 50% cloud cover, so that puts us on a three. And we're in the target zone, so that's a plus one. That goes to four. And another one for the searchlight, a five. So we are on medium fire, so we have to roll three times. So a five is a miss. Second roll, four, five, six, seven is a miss. And third one is a 10, which is a miss. So we got lucky there. Now going to roll for fighters. A1. And again, two or less random event. So we get a random event which bypasses all the fighter combat. So let's roll on the chart, wherever it is. So random events, 2d6. Eight. Possible onboard electronics warfare package failure. Great. Roll 1d6. A six. Four to six, the voice is not working for the remainder of the mission. Okay. On board for the sea rule for list of. So our um, warfare package is not working and device is not working for the remainder of the mission, which isn't going to affect us too much. Okay. So, are we on course? An eight. As we are, 
So L8 says we are minus two. Fifty percent puts that down to a seven. Okay, so we're on course, that's good. So on course, and then was there a, any collisions? Where's my other dice gone? It's here. Nope, no collisions. So that's good. So now we can move out of that zone and back to zone seven and start the whole thing again. So at the moment, none of our crew have taken wounds, which is quite unusual and nothing too bad has happened, but famous last words. So here we go, uh, rolling for weather in the zone. A one is gonna be clear conditions. So it's clear. And um, we're then gonna roll for mechanical failures. We rolled 20, so that's fine. So there's no mechanical failures. Contrails. There are contrails now. So con, yes. I've run out of my little worksheet, so I'm just writing it there, guys. Um, done that. So now, do they detect us? And this is zone seven, so we're still over Germany now. So six, seven, eight. No modifiers applied to us, so they've detected us. Now, we're gonna roll for AAA fire and searchlight. On an 11, it's going to be yes. Look at our modifiers. Plus one for clear conditions, puts that to a 12. And 13 for contrails. So they do, but because I, I have already got a searchlight on me, I can now roll on the continuing searchlight chart to see if we can get rid of that searchlight. And I roll a six. So we are still caught in it, but we got some modifiers. Your bomber is dropping in now. Clear conditions, yes, so it goes to a seven. So we still have the searchlight on us. Okay. So now we're gonna roll for AAA fire again. I've rolled a three this time, which is light AAA fire. That goes to a four for clear conditions. Contrails formed, yes they did, so that goes to a five. It goes to a six because of the searchlight. So we're on medium, we're on medium. So we're rolling three times because we're high. So first one, six, seven, eight, is a miss. Second roll, five, six, seven, is a miss. And the third roll, Five, six, seven, eight, nine is a miss. God, that was lucky. Okay, let's roll for night fighters then. A five. So a five would give us one night fighter, but that goes to a six, but yeah, it's still one night fighter. So, what type of night fighter? A nine. Junkers 88, that's good because we get a bonus when we fire at them. Does he have Leistein radar? No, he does not. And what's his pilot, uh, pilot quality? Three. He's a veteran. So let's get our veteran counter, which is somewhere here. Where are you gone? I can't find it now. That's annoying. Okay, well, let's not worry too much. You know he's a veteran. Okay, so we know he's a... That's there, right in front of me. <laughs> so we know he's a veteran. So does he spot our bomber now? Six, seven, eight. And we're on half moon. He needs an eight, but we have clear conditions. Puts that up by one. And... He has a veteran, which gives him another plus one. But he's definitely spotted us. So, yeah, so let's roll for his position. An eight, which is going to be six o'clock. 
six o'clock low, I think. Just double check. Gone too far now. Six o'clock low. Yep, six o'clock low. So he comes there. And now we're going to attempt to spot the night fighter. We're on four, five, six. Check our modifiers. We get plus one for firing at a six o'clock position. Uh, spotting, sorry. No, we don't. I'm on the wrong chart. Hold on. Roll a six. We need an eight. But we get a minus two because we're still in that searchlight. Minus one because we've got contrails. Yeah, we haven't spotted him. So he's going to go in and attack us now. So three, four, five. At six o'clock is a miss, but he's a veteran, which gives him plus one. So that gives him six. So that's a miss. So do we lose contact with him? Three, could lose contact here. Three, he's a veteran, puts that to a four. Puts a four. It's clear conditions, puts that to a five. Doesn't have radar. Nope, so we lose contact with him. Okay, so are we on course? On course, a 10 says we are, even with our med, uh, modifiers. Yep, so we're on course, that's good. And was there any collisions? No. So we can move back to zone six now. And zone six is over water, so we're not gonna get AAA fire now, which is good. So. Let's roll for weather in the zone. We're trying to make it home now. Last two missions I've played, I've lost all my crew and uh, both bombers in both missions. So weather in the zone, eight. My voice is going because I'm talking so much. So eight is 50% cloud cover. So I'll just jot that down, 50%. Um, we're staying high. So, mechanical failures, a 19, so no. Contrails, a four, let's double check that. So, no, no contrails, so no, see. And then, do they detect us? They've rolled three, so they do not detect us because they need a six and the modifiers don't apply. So they don't detect us, so that's brilliant. So no no combat, no night fighters if you're not detected. Um, now, I can roll on here, I'm pretty sure, for continuing searchlight, so I'm going to. I've rolled a five. And we have 50% cloud cover, which gives me a minus one to four. And that's it, so four, no, searchlights stay on. Okay, so are we on course? A seven, Should check our modifiers again. So, seven, 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 seven. So, So we're on course, that's good. Was there a collision? No. So we're now moving back to zone five. So this is going well. Well, I say it's going well. We got 0% on our target, so it's been a waste of time really, but it's all good fun. So, um, roll for the weather in zone five. We're over water again. So a 10. Right, 10. is a hundred percent cloud cover so a hundred percent so we have to roll to see if the mission is recalled so we rolled a 25 so it's not gonna roll for mechanical failures 
Nope, no mechanical failures, so that's good. Rolf Contrails, an 8. So no Contrails either. So let's jot that down. No Contrails. Um, now we're going to roll to see if they spot us. 6, 7, 8. They do spot us. Now, we can attempt to get rid of that searchlight now. So 1d6, a 1. And it is 50, it's 100% cloud cover, which gives them a plus one to two. So two or less, bomber evaded. So we get rid of that searchlight. But, yeah, okay. So we got rid of the searchlight, that's good. So, um, they did spot us though. So we're gonna roll to see if they get um, AAA fire. So six, seven, eight, nine. We have 50% cloud cover. That goes down like that. We've got clear condition, so that goes back up. So we're definitely um, getting a AAA fire um, and a searchlight. Now we just got rid of the searchlight, but I should have waited. I should have waited, but we'll say we've rolled that and now that, that's gone. We'll keep the the results. Okay, so now AAA fire. A five is medium A. That goes down to a four because of 50% cloud cover. Um, but we got, we got 100% cloud cover, sorry. So it's actually a plus one, so we go to six. So six. Okay, so medium AA, rolling three times because we're at high altitude. So four, five, six is a miss. Second roll is a six, so that's a miss. And the third, four, five, six, seven is a miss. Okay, so we're going to night fighters. A two. It's a random event again. How many random events is the most random events I've ever rolled? So two or less is a random event. So we bypass all combat fighter, which is good. So we're going to roll 2d6 on the random event table. So five, six, seven, eight. Eight possible onboard electronics. Well, we've already had that and it destroyed it. So we're going to re-roll. Four, five, six. The navigator gets a good fix on your bomber's exact location. Disregard all off-course results from the next two zones. If the target zone is one of the next two zones, your bomber has no negative die rolls. Okay, well that doesn't apply to us, but that's what we've rolled. We've already dropped uh, the bombs. If we were going towards the target, that would have an effect. But we bypassed the fighters for this turn, which is good. So are we on course? And eight tells us that we are just double check. So yep, we're on course, so that's good. Drop that down. Any collisions? Nope. So that's good. So we're now moving back into zone four. So we're getting closer to home now. So weather in the zone. Roll a five. So let's check what a five is. Ground fog or haze. Okay, so haze. So we're going to roll to see mechanical failures. Nope, that's fine. Contrails. Six, that's fine. Do they detect our bomber now? So seven. They do detect us. And actually, um, in zone five, we shouldn't have rolled for AAA fire because we're over water. That's my mistake. Okay, so they have spotted us on a seven, but we go straight to night fighters because we're over water. Got to remember that. So... I roll a two. I roll a two again. So it's another random event. Wow. OK. 
<laughs> I can't believe this. So 2d6, 6, 7, 8. We've already had that result, so I'm going to re-roll it. I've rolled an 8 again, come on. A 10. Extreme cold. Roll 1d6 for each gun position. Okay. On a 1 to 5, there's no effect. On a 6, the guns are jammed. Okay. So the tail gunner, he's fine. The ventral is fine. The mid upper gunner is jammed. Okay. So he's jammed. And then the nose gunner is not. So he's jammed. C note A on table 512A. So 512A. Uh, guns jammed. Roll 1d6. So we have to roll to unjam them basically. So our mid upper gunner, who is we've got to rely on, his guns jammed. Okay. So had a negative effect, but we've managed to bypass the fighters. So, are we on course? A four. Might not be on course here. So, check those modifiers. We have 100% cloud cover, which gives us a minus two. That goes down to a two. Uh, so we're on a two. So two or more, we're on course. That's good, so we're on course. Is there a collision between bombers? No. Nope. So we're into zone three. We're getting close to home. So now, weather in the zone. It's a one. I'm pretty sure that is clear conditions. So a one. Clear conditions. So clear. Okay. So um, mechanical failures. Fifty-seven. So we're fine. Contrails. A four. We are just fine. So no no contrails. Um, do they detect our bomber? On a three, they do not detect our bomber which is brilliant, so we bypass all that and we can just check if we're on course. A six. So, a six. Where are we? A six. We're on course, but we have 100% cloud cover. So that brings that down to a four. So we're on course. That's good. Is there any collisions between bombers? No. So we're now into zone two. We're nearly there. So weather in the zone. A three. Excuse me, a three. Ground fog or haze. So we've got haze. Okay, so mechanical failures. No, we're fine. Contrails. A 10. No contrails. Do they spot us? A 4, 5, 6. They do spot us. This is typical. You get one box away from home and we get spotted. That's why I love this game. Right, so 6. They have these modifiers don't apply to us. Um, so we've been detected. But remember, we're over water at the moment. Um, so we just go for night fighters. So a nine, great, there's gonna be two of them. Unbelievable, it's gonna be two night fighters. So I've rolled a two for the first one, which is an ME110 G4. So let's find an ME110 G4 in our stack. ME10 G4. There, and we're going to roll for the other one, which is a 1, ME110F4. So we've got two ME110s coming at us. Does he have Leuchstein radar? 
Yes, and does he? No. So the first guy does. I'm just going to give him some good modifiers. So pilot quality, first guy is a 10. So that means he's a novice. So we've got a, a newbie coming out, a novice. And then pilot quality for this guy is a 2. So he's an experimenter. So he goes there. So, um, the novice, does he spot our bomber? Five, six, seven, eight, nine. Uh, let's double check. So he needs an eight on a half moon. He's a novice though, so he goes down by one. Get penalised for being a novice. Uh, but we've got 100, no, we've got haze. We've got haze now. Okay, so he has five, six, seven, eight. So he has spotted us. And the experimenter, he rolls a seven. And he gets a plus two for being an experimenter. So he spotted us as well. So the position for the novice, six, seven, eight. I know that's going to be six o'clock. Six o'clock high. I'm pretty sure that's six o'clock high. Yep. And then this guy is a 10. So 10 is three o'clock low. So three o'clock low. So he's coming in over there. So can we spot the guy at six o'clock? We roll a six. So he's six. Plus one for him being a knight, a novice gives us five, six, seven. But that's it. So we haven't spotted him. Do we spot the guy at three o'clock? Five, six, seven. Minus one if the pilot is an experimenter. That goes down. So, yep, we don't spot either of them. So, the ME110 at six o'clock is going to fire first. He rolls a 10. So at six o'clock, he needs a seven. He's a novice, so he gets a minus one. So he's now on nine. So he's definitely hit us. So let's roll for how many hits. So he has caused three hits. Is it multiplied? No. So three hits from six o'clock. Okay, so here we go. First hit. It's a seven from high is the tail. So we go to our tail section. Nine. Tail turret. Roll 1d6. A four. Three to five. Tail gunner rolls for a wound on table 517. So we're going to roll for a wound for our tail gunner. So I'm going to roll 1d6. And on a three, he's got a light wound. Crewman may continue duties unimpaired. So we get a light wound counter on our tail gunner. So just before they're getting close to base, he's taken a light wound. Okay, so that was one hit, and we've got three hits in total here. So the next hit is six, seven, eight, nine, rear center section. So rear center section. Where is it? Rear center section. Five, six, seven, eight. Tail turret ammo feed tracks. Roll 1d6. A three. One to three, no effect. Okay. And here comes the last hit. An eight. Starboard wing. So we go to our wing. Two. Wing spar. Three wing root hits. Ooh. Now I'm pretty sure if you take six of them, you've had it. So three, one, two, three. I'm just going to read on note A. Yeah, when you get six hits over the course of a mission, the wing rips off and the crew must immediately bail out. So we don't want another result like that. Okay, so now going for the guy at three o'clock. He rolls 11, 
So he's definitely hit us. Let's just double check modifiers though. So, where are we? He's attacking from 3 o'clock. He needs an 8. He's an experimenter, he gets plus 2, so he's definitely hit us. So, rolling for damage 4, 5, 6, 7. So, 7 from 3 o'clock is 1 hit. Is it multiplied? No. So, 1 hit from 3 o'clock. So where's three o'clock? There. Roll a three. And he is low. Nose. So we go to the nose section. Uh, which is where? There. 2d6. Four, five, six, seven. Superficial damage, no effect. Okay, good. Right. Do we lose contact? So this novice fighter at six o'clock, we rolled a nine. So, we have Haze, he's a novice, so it's a minus two, so that goes to a seven, oh, that goes to a seven, oops, so seven, yeah, so he's sticking around, okay, and then the Experimenter, he rolls a four, he gets a plus two, so that's four, five, six. So they're both sticking around, bad news. So, new position for the novice. Oh, um, yes, yeah, so that's a seven. So that's gonna be six o'clock again. And he's rolled a one, so six o'clock high, which is where he is already. And the expert there rolls six, seven, eight, nine, so that's going to be nine o'clock high, so nine o'clock high. Right, we need to put some damage on these guys, so do we spot this ME110 at six o'clock? Four, five, six. Six. Uh, nope. Do we spot the guy at nine o'clock? Come on. No. Not even with modifiers would that make that better. So we failed to spot them. So ME one ten uh, at six o'clock is firing. He rolls six, seven, eight, nine. See why can't we roll that when it, we're trying to spot them? So he is attacking from six o'clock and he needs a seven and he has a minus one for being a novice. So he's now got six, seven, eight. So he's, he's hit us. So how many hits? We've rolled three, four, five. So five, that's six. It's three hits again. Is it modified? Three hits. What plane is he? ME110. No, so three hits. This is painstaking. I just want to get back into zone one because all we have to do is land. Um, so six o'clock position, three hits. So three, four, five from high. Superficial damage. That was lucky. Second hit. Four, five, six, seven. It's the tail. So, roll for damage on the tail. A five is tail turret. So, 1d6, a six. Guns inoperable, and tail gunner rolls for wound. So, our tail guns are out now, and the tail gunner is going to roll for a wound. Okay, um, so let's find the wound table. Don't have a good feeling about this one. So, roll 1d6, a four. He's taking a serious wound, and he cannot, um, may not continue duties, but I'm just going to see this note here. Uh, serious wound, next mission. Okay, so we need to roll for him after landing, so he's taking a serious wound now. Now, I could roll and see what happened to him, but I won't do that, because it'll take longer. Um, 
So I think I rolled three hits there. I can't quite quite remember. No, that was the second hit. So third and final hit. The two superficial damage. Okay, from three o'clock, he's going to fire at us now. He rolls five, six, seven, but he gets a plus two for being an experitaire, so that's five. That's nine. So nine. Uh, what position is he at? Nine o'clock. So he needs an eight. Yep. Five, six. Yep, he's hit us. So how many? A seven at nine o'clock. It's one hit. Is it modified? A four? No. So it's one hit from nine o'clock. So here we go. Six. And he is high. Port wing. So port wing. So two D six. A three. Tail wheel. Great, just as we're about to land. Wheel damage landing on table seven one is a minus one. So on landing we have a minus one. So I'm just gonna mark that down. So the tail wheel is out. Okay, so do we lose contact? Oh actually, do can I make passing tail gun shot? 10, 12, 130, no I can't. Right. Do we lose contact with the novice? A 10 is going to be a no, but we better check the modifiers again. So, he's a novice, he gets a minus 2, takes him to an 8. So he sticks around, and the experiteur, he rolls an 8, plus 2 is 10. So they both stick around. So, new position for the novice. Rolls a 7, that's 6 o'clock again. And a 2 puts him at, uh, puts him at high, which is where he is. And then the guy at nine o'clock four five six seven he's going from six o'clock and he rolls a six low so we've got two fighters coming in at six o'clock six o'clock high and six o'clock low and um we're going to roll to see if we can spot them so do we spot the novice six seven eight nine yes this is good We've got clear conditions. No, we had haze and we... So we spotted him, that's good. Do we spot the experiteur? We do, on a 10, but we get a minus one. Yeah, we get a minus one, which still means we spot him. This is good now. So, who can fire at six o'clock high? Oh, do you know what's really annoying? I just forgot. Our tail guns are out. And our tail gun has taken a serious wound. So that's not good. But we have a wireless gunner on the ventral gun who can shoot at six o'clock low. So he will be shooting at the experimenter. So the ventral will shoot at him. And my mid upper gunner can shoot at six o'clock high. But remember, his guns are jammed. So he needs to roll to try and unjam his guns. Uh, so, a, gu a gunner may attempt to fix a jammed gun each turn, starting on the next turn. Roll 1d6, a 5, gun remains jammed, so he can't fire. So he's having trouble with that gun. So the ventral is going to fire the experiteur. So 6, 7, 8, would be a hit, but let's just double check modifiers. For defensive fire versus an experiteur, he gets a minus one. But he then gets a plus one for the six o'clock position. So he's six, seven, eight. So he's hitting. Let's try and destroy him. A seven. Not bad. So a seven for a ME 110G is an FCA result. 
so that's going to give him a minus one and then um, that's the ventral gun is done so the experimenter will shoot first probably double six again that's the fifth one of the evening so but that gets a minus one because of that um, but that's definitely a hit on us because he only needs a seven from there yep okay but he gets a plus two for being yes he's more than enough hitters so how many hits five six seven eight so on an eight at six o'clock is two is it multiplied uh, no it's not so that is two hits from six o'clock so here comes the first hit so three and he is low superficial damage so that's handy and the second hit four five six tail so we're going to roll on the tail so tail is two to six that's a nine no it's a ten sorry the so ten tail plane roll one d six a six starboard rudder receives one hit okay so I'll mark that down so you take three of those hits and uh, your rudder is destroyed okay so now the novice shooting he's rolled six seven eight but he is a novice so he gets a minus one Still gives him a seven, which is what he needs at six o'clock. So damage a ten again. So a ten at six o'clock is three hits. Is that multiplied? Not five plus one is four hits. Oh man, this is so frustrating. So four hits from six o'clock. So first hit is an eight from high, starboard wing, so wing, four, wing flap, roll 1d6, a six, no effect, go oh, that was lucky, right second hit, five, six, seven, from high is the tail, a four is suit heater, tail gun as heat is out okay well I mean he's got a serious wound anyway but it does mean if we were further back we'd have to get to a low altitude so that was the third hit this is the fourth hit an eight an eight is starboard wing six seven eight nine fuel tank oh here we go fuel tank 1d6 Four is the inboard tank. We're going to roll one d six. We rolled a six. Uh, five six equals self seal. No effect. Oh my god, we're so lucky. I've had that happen before, and the whole plane just explodes, and you lose everyone. Right. Okay. So that's done. We're going to roll to see if we lose these guys. So the novice, a ten, minus one for being a novice. He's sticking around. And the experiteur, he rolls a six, he gets plus two, if he puts him on an eight, so they're both sticking around. So a new position for the experiteur, five, six, seven, eight, it's six o'clock again. And I roll a three, so six o'clock at three. I think that's level, I'll have a look. Six o'clock at three, six o'clock. Uh, yeah, level. So six o'clock level for him. And the novice, uh, his position, six, seven, eight. That's six o'clock as well. A four is level. So we've got two of them coming from level. Do we spot the novice? Three, four, five. So five. No, 
No. Do we spot the Xperatair? Seven. Minus one, no, so we don't spot him either. So the shots from the novice. Five, six, seven, eight. <laughs> this that's so frustrating. So six like they need a seven. He's got a minus one. And he's on an eight, which would put him to a seven. So he's secured a hit on us. So how many hits? On three. Three from six o'clock is four hits. And it's not multiplied. So four hits. Wow, this is not good. So first hit is an eight from level. Starboard wing. Rolling for the wing is a seven. Superficial damage. No effect. So second hit. Four, five, six, seven. It's going to be the... Um, tail the tail section five six seven superficial damage again god that's lucky third hit five tail two d six three tail wheel well we've already had that so um I'm not too clear on if you've had the same result. I say that you would roll that result again. So this time I roll a six. So six is the rudder. One D six, one to three, left rudder. So the left rudder is taking a hit now. Okay. And now the last hit. Here's five, six, seven, eight. Starboard wing. Four, five, six, seven. Superficial damage. Okay. Experitaire. He's going to shoot, but he's got a minus one. And he gets three, four. Um, plus two. Takes him to a six, minus one. So he's missed. That's good. Right, we need to lose these guys now. So the novice. Rolls a five minus one for being a novice. It's a four. And any other modifiers? Yep, so we've lost him. That's good. Oh, he's got Oshtim radar, which puts him to a five. So we're lucky. We've just lost him. Do we lose this guy? A four. He gets a plus two for being an experitaire. So four, five, six. But it's minus six. Anything else? We've got Hayes. So he sticks around, unfortunately. So 2d6 roll for a new position. He's rolled a four. So four. Four is 130 level. So 130 level there. Right. Does our bomber crew spot him? Five, six, seven, eight, nine. I'm pretty sure they do. Let's check the modifiers again. Minus one for him being an expert tear. So five, six, seven, eight. So we have spotted him because we're on a half moon. Yay, so 130 level. Who can shoot at 130 level? Our ventral turret. No. 130 level is our nose gunner. And the nose gunner is fine. So our nose gunner is going to fire at him. Uh, yeah. No one else can. Okay, so nose gunner taking his shot. Six, seven, eight. That's a hit, but remember modifies. So 
minus one for defensive fire against an uh, experimenter. So we've got a minus one there. So that goes to a seven. Uh, he is in an ME 110 though. F4. No, that's a G4. So that doesn't apply. Yes, it does. Sorry. Yes, it does. So that takes him back up. Six, seven, eight. So he has secured a hit on him. So damage. An eight. That's a good roll. For a ME 110. An eight is an FBOA. So an FBOA. Where has that gone? FBOA is a minus two. But fighter is damaged and breaks off after this attack is complete. So he's going to break off, which is what we need. So he's going to roll his attack now. He's rolled a three. He gets plus two for being the experitor, but he's then got a minus three. So he's missed and he flies off because of that FBOA. So finally, now we can roll to see if we're on course. A one, we are not gonna be on course, but again, our modifiers. Clear conditions, we get a plus one, so that goes to So we are just on course, that's lucky. Was there any collisions? Four, five, six, seven. Nope. So finally guys, we're into zone one and we're gonna do the landing procedure now. So let's see what happens here. So landing uh, on land. Yep, so here we go then. So we're going to do a 2d6 roll. We rolled three. But we've got modifiers here. We've got a minus one because of our uh, wheel being damaged. Um, we have Actually, it's a minus three. So that takes us to zero. And we should have rolled for weather. Sorry, my bad. Weather is a nine. Two seconds. Hold your horses. So, 100% cloud cover. Okay, so we have a zero. Crew safe, but the bomber is wrecked. So we, we've wrecked our bomber, but the rest of our crew are completely safe. And that is the end of the mission. And, whew, yeah, that was, that was a crazy one. So our tail gunner took a, a light wound, then he took a serious wound, and we took a few little bits of damage here and there to the rudder, to the wings, but Overall, an okay mission. We got 0% on the bombs though, so not great. So that was mission 9 for me in the first campaign. So my next mission will be mission 10. Um, so yeah, I enjoyed that. I hope you guys did. Um, thanks for sticking around to watch it. If you guys um, like this sort of thing, then I'll play a few more games, different games as well live. Let me know what you think. So, right, I'm uh, going to end the stream there, I think, guys. So, um, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. And uh, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. See you next time.